Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind to only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. So Capricorn, I'm going to ask Spirit about the messages for you this month in July, maybe what's to come or anything you need to hear right now in this moment. And this could impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever Spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and get your reading started. At this time, you're very welcome to ask any beings of the light to come into this reading, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect your energy by doing this. I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring this sound bowl three times. And during that time, I want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you have that may be, you know, circulating in your mind. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Capricorn. Okay, well, what I first saw was like the Olympic rings. So I don't know if someone has been kind of like working out or, um, you know, excited to watch the Olympics. I don't know about that, but it feels more so with that symbol, uh, like competition. Like I wonder if someone feels like they're competing with you, Capricorn, because then after that I saw check. So I wonder if someone's checking for you and it feels almost like X relationship like romance or maybe even like an ex-friend and then like I felt like someone get ruffled and like like move their hair back out of their face so I wonder if this is someone that like likes to slick back their hair or always is kind of doing that when they're nervous or like frustrated I don't know it feels almost as if you need spirit wants you to be aware of this person I don't know if they smile to your face and then you know obsessively hate on you behind your back it feels a little obsessive like they check your social media or they think about you and they like ask people about you and it feels a little nosy it feels a little intrusive and I want to know why this is becoming so apparent in July maybe they expose themselves maybe this is something you're currently going through with like this passive aggressive hate behavior with this person um, and maybe you just need some answers about it. Like, are they real authentic? Like, is this just a little hiccup or is this going to be something that, you know, really kind of tears us apart almost? I want to know. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say about this. Yeah, I just saw a question mark. Like, almost that was like one of the last text messages you guys sent to each other. Like, question mark or double question mark. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So that could just be a little side note of what spirit wants you to look out for Capricorn. But let's see. July messages for Capricorn. What is happening for Capricorn in the month of July? Okay. So you got two cards. Playfulness. Nice. Sagittarius just got this card. So if you have strong Sagittarius in your chart, I suggest checking out the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. And listening. Ooh, spirit. Yeah, spirit wants you to know, you know, almost as if like you think everything's cool between the two of you. And maybe even if it is like some sort of ex or friend that maybe you kind of had a falling out with, like maybe recently you guys have been like in group settings, um, seeing each other around, like maybe uh, they somehow you guys have access to each other, but it feels very fake, but they want to play it off. Like, you know, oh, we're cool. Like I'm not holding anything, but it, it's the opposite. Like, I literally just saw salt spill on the table. Like, they're salty. And spirit is trying to get you to listen to your gut because maybe you're finding yourself being like, oh, I don't know. Like, 
maybe I'm just, you know, holding this grudge against them or I just have, I have to get over it because they're cool with me. No, spirit is giving you a gut feeling for a reason. The letter L is sticking out to me as in Luke, as in Lynette, first, middle, last initial can mean something to someone. But Capricorn, you know, with this playfulness energy, I would just be aware, but I wouldn't like go down to their level. I would kind of just like, you know, keep them at a distance. I, I usually don't advise this and I'm not saying to like play their game, but it just really kind of is a, trying to throw you off your energy. Like I feel like you guys are trying to, you know, venture out a bit more. You're trying to kind of just start a new chapter in your life, leaving that past drama behind. And I think that is what spirit kind of wants you to focus on, to have a bit of fun this month and not to let anyone kind of disrupt that fun. And I feel as if this could be someone that, um, you know, I feel be careful what you say around this person because they are listening and they may try to use it against you, twist your words. I'm seeing like a phone call to someone like after your a conversation with you. So yeah, I just, I want you to be aware of this. Don't be scared because I don't think you need to be scared. But it's like this person is not over whatever happened between the two of you, even if they're trying to play it off as such. And uh, be careful who's in your inner circle and what you say to certain people, by the way. So um, let's pull some more cards. Some of you are definitely clairaudient and you need to listen to your clairaudience because it's going to come up very strongly in the month of July. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, that's the vibe. You're in Capricorn, but someone wants to hold on to it. Maybe because it gives them a reason to be mad at you, upset with you, hate on you. But yeah, spirit's just saying just like distance yourself from it. Like, it really is trying to follow you because they want you to be on that same level, but you're not anymore. Some of you could have a uh, moon in Scorpio, strong Scorpio placements, or this is a Scorpio you may be dealing with, perhaps. But yeah, spirit is just kind of saying, like, it's time to kind of just, you know, do what you can on your end to leave it behind. And maybe that's putting in more boundaries. Maybe that is kind of just realizing that, um, you know, no matter what you do, right or wrong, there's always going to be someone that says something about you or really kind of all this means is that this person's actions are out of your control. And you may be trying to do things to fix it, trying to do things to include them, but they still are like just boiling over something here. So maybe this is a good time, Capricorn, to really cut this person out or to at least get a break from them because I think you're going to see or hear something that they said behind your back or something that they do that is going to show the truth of it. And it may hurt your feelings or it may make you feel like, damn, I thought we were over it. But even if that does come to light, like Spirit's just saying, shake it off. Like I just saw that Taylor Swift, <laughs> shake it off because um, it's just... It's trying to be a karmic cycle that repeats itself. And you don't want to be in that same repetition. I know you, Capricorn. Once you close the door, you close that damn door, put the padlock in, you're done with it. And Spirit's reminding you of that same type of energy. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. We're going to ask for past, present, and future energies for Capricorn. So what happened in the past for Capricorn? What's the past energy that has led Capricorn to this? Ooh, yeah, death, transformation. Very strong Scorpio energy in your reading. Yeah, so check out the Scorpio reading if you do have strong Scorpio placements or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Ooh, yeah, you know what? I feel like maybe with this older energy, it was always like makeup and breakup type of energy, whether it was a romantic or a family member or a friend. It was like you got a tiff and then you made up, but then they did it again. Another sorry, okay, whatever. I feel like there is something you have done that has made you feel like you want to completely end a course or a behavior between the two of you. And they took it as rejection. 
they took it as like a slam in their face, even though you, I, I feel your intentions. It wasn't that way, but you really felt like for the both of us, like we need to end something here. Like this can't go on or, you know, some sort of break has to happen, but they felt like it was a permanent ending that you were putting out there. And I feel they think you betrayed them in that way that, you know, closing this out with something that showed them you didn't want to work on this. But why work on something that is just the same thing over and over again? You know, I feel that's how you felt about it, Capricorn. Tell me more. I'm just seeing someone like curling their hair with their finger. I wonder if they do that when they're nervous or someone has really curly hair that I'm talking about here. Tell me more about this energy for Capricorn, the present energy. Ooh, sacral chakra. So you guys are in your creative flow. Like I feel through ending something with, you know, someone that uh, was repetitive, was toxic almost, it has kind of activated your sacral chakra. And it's kind of made you really dive into the emotions that you feel around the situation in a way where you weren't able to before. I wonder if it's because like when you tried to explain yourself, they'd shut you down. They tell you you're wrong. But with the sacral chakra here, I think it's activated something in you to be more playful, to be more creative, to be more sporadic, to be more, you know, less stressed and to just live life as it is to go with the flow, to tune into people, to, you know, I, I just feel for some of you, especially you're very sensual right now. Um, like you're really taking the time to enjoy everything fully. And I feel like there's also a very strong attraction towards you right now, Capricorn, with the sacral chakra energy, your sexual energy. Um, I think you naturally have it, especially if you have strong Scorpio in your chart, but it's really getting people's attention. And there may be people that are flirting with you or, um, you know, kind of commenting on when you're you, they see you in person, damn Capricorn, you're looking good. And if it's in front of this like X energy, if they're in the same group or whatever, they see your posts on social media, it like riles them up even more. There's definitely jealousy here. There's unstable emotion here that you're not doing much to even trigger out this person at all. It's just your existence triggers them, it feels. So I feel... Capricorn, what you need to do with the sacral chakra activation is to kind of find ways to transmute the negative energies that you feel are being projected onto you or that are heading your way into something more empowering. You could be wearing the color orange. Orange is your favorite color or a color. Tell me more. What's future energy for Capricorn? Okay, nine of swords, suffering in silence. Bottom of the deck, we have the base chakra. Okay. So this suffering in silence, I feel, could go two different ways. This could be you or it could be the person that you cut out, right? If this is you, I feel like there's a lot of crap someone's talking. And it's almost like worrisome to you or they're trying to like expose you in some way. Like I'm seeing someone's screenshots come up, like trying to, you know, twist what you say and it's just wearing you down. Like you can't win with this person, Capricorn. Like you can't reason with them. You can't, you know, come to an agreement unless you're just completely in their favor. And you are trying to kind of keep the drama behind, but just thinking of this person or having this person's energy around you is just like, you know, weighing you down mentally. So with the base chakra here, there's something spirit wants you to pay attention to with rerouting, you know, your sense of self, your sense of security. I feel maybe some of you guys, um, there could be a little bit of money worries. Maybe there is like an, uh, a bill, like a credit card bill that came up that was more than you thought it was. But you're Capricorn, you know, you could get your bills in debt and check, right? That's why I saw that check maybe. Um but maybe you do kind of just have to decide what I need in order to feel, you know, safe again, where this negative energies, whether it's cultivating within me or being projected onto me is no longer going to influence, you know, my vibes. And I just heard that Kendrick Lamar song, B Don't Kill My Vibe. Yeah, I feel that's the vibe you're in, Capricorn, and spirit wants you to keep it up. And if this is, you know, the suffering in silence, 
is, you know, the energy that I'm clearly tuning into here that is, you know, watching you, obsessing over you, like, they don't want to lose. And that's why they don't want to talk this out. It's like, that's how they view these situations, win or lose. And so I feel as if seeing you kind of be stable in your base chakra, your sacral chakra, and regrounding yourself and your confidence and your demeanor and your energy is really bothering them. And I think with this nine of swords, like they don't think anyone's believing them, taking their side. They want people to take their side and no one's there to say, yeah, Capricorn's a mess or, oh yeah, I don't like Capricorn because it's not how they feel. It's like they're seeing that they're losing that battle with you of trying to project that negativity on. All right, let's clarify these cards to get a bit deeper here. Tell me about this transformation in the past for Capricorn. Okay, so the magician. Yeah, you put this back in your power. I feel like you felt like there was no, um, you know, conversations. There was no equal give or take so you were like you know what I have to be the one to decide and I feel like again by ending something here it really did boost your inner power I do feel like you now feel more powerful more in charge more comfortable with like I wonder if this was like a friend too where you felt like you always had to invite them somewhere because you know they make you feel guilty if you didn't um you're realizing what's on you and what's not on you anymore you're not taking out someone else's insecurities and putting that into your energy as something that you have to take care of you could be a caring friend you could be a supportive friend but you don't need to take on other people's problems and make them your own and i feel that's kind of what you put an end to which is you know restirred your vital passionate energy that was drained from this person Tell me about this sacral chakra energy. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this person tried to control you, even if they were a friend, like, oh, don't go here without me, or why are you talking to them? You know I don't like them. It's like, you're not my mom, <laughs> you know? Like, that's how it feels. Sorry if I'm taking on the frustration. But what about the sacral chakra here? And even if it's an ex, it's like, okay, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. Judgment, yeah. So with listening and now the sacral chakra here, like spirit really does want you to pay attention to how things make you feel. And I know being a Capricorn, maybe that's not how you operate usually. I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. I get it. But spirit's saying like, listen to your gut feelings. It is telling you what to move towards, what to move away from, what's going to fulfill you, what's not. And I feel by kind of releasing that negative energy, your intuition has become so much more clear. The way you feel around things, like you're very clear, uh, sentient too. Definitely spiritual gifts. But, um, you know, it, it's just kind of the way you're sensing things. You're kind of able to decide if this is going to be something I want to carry with to be a part of or... Yeah, I am i don't want to repeat this again. I don't want to go through this again. And you are in your absolute right to decide for that. Even if someone tries to make you feel bad for it, guilty for it, you have the power to decide, Capricorn. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in the future. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in the future energy. Queen of Cups, Cancer energy. Then bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Whoa. Okay. So this could definitely be an X. I didn't want to go down that road, but here we are. And I'm not going to say, you know, there's, you know, you guys were meant to be together. I, I know a lot of people with two of the same suit, especially royal cards, tend to say that. But maybe you guys, you know, in a first way when you met, kind of felt like you connected on a similar level of like being spiritual or by being good listeners at first or kind of like oh very in tune with people's emotions and feelings and being caring about that but i kind of feel with this queen of cups is the one that's worried here the one that feels drained and the king of cups is just waiting for 
the Queen of Cups to kind of come out of this funk or to realize that they should be friends again or lovers again. It feels as if the Queen of Cups feels like they can't escape the King of Cups, whether that's the Queen of Cups picking up on the energy of the King of Cups or, um, you know, the King of Cups trying to intrude on themselves. And again, flip flop it around if you feel it's the other way. But I feel this Queen of Cups could be, um, if they are the person that, you know, is around you here. Yeah, they're, um, how do I describe this? They're very, they make small things into something so much bigger and then they get carried away with the feelings of it and then their thoughts start to become obsessive. And I think someone may be telling you that this person isn't doing well and that they're like really upset about what happened between the two of you and hurt by it. But again, I don't feel it's because they want to resolve anything. They just want more people on their side. So you may be hearing that and it may be very twisted based off of what you actually experience. And if you are King of Cups energy, you need to stay your ground, stay level-headed, stay cool, calm, collected, because I almost feel like someone's trying to bait you to come out of that centeredness that you've worked so hard to have. So there's could be emotional toying, manipulation in July, maybe towards the end of July, that you need to be aware of. Yeah, I just heard fake friend. I wonder if that's kind of what you've recently discovered about this person or may, you know, due to their twisting of events about what happened between the two of you. Okay. Tell me more about what's going on for Capricorn in July. Okay. So ascending the mountain nice. I love mountain energy for Capricorn. It's exactly how I feel for you guys. Keep going forward. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah, just keep going forward. It's it's something that you don't need to reclimb. It's something that you don't need to repeat. You've done the work already. You've been there, done that. I mean, it, it just because someone else can't ascend the mountain like you can, they're trying to make you put on the effort for them to get to the place you went through your hard work, through your own healing you know king of queen of cups energy i feel you guys did a lot to kind of recognize the things in your life that maybe in some way you took part in but no longer want to be in that vibration or no longer want to have that habit or you know whatever that is that i'm picking up here and i think that spirit saying yeah keep going Keep going with this idea that you've cultivated of just putting the past behind you, releasing the negativity. Even if it's trying to chase you, we're seeing if you're strong enough to still keep that mentality and move it forward. And then begin now. Take your first step. So some of you, this is for those of you that haven't made that first step yet in making those boundaries. Even with the death card in the past, maybe you have like, thought about yeah this has to stop but still ripping the band-aid off it's hard to do you haven't fully done it yet spirit's telling you it's time it's time and you will be safe we will guide you we will protect you again you're very spiritually gifted and there will be other people in your life that will kind of you know help you lay down the load that will kind of want you to blow off stress that will want to invite you i'm like i'm seeing someone going over to someone's house for a movie popcorn, wine, like just to kick it like that. And I feel that something spirit wants you to experience that will help you kind of take a step forward away from whatever this energy is for you guys. I'm almost seeing like you guys are going to become or like I wonder if there's someone new that moved in next door to you or like a your friend lives in the same apartment complex or in the same area and you may be spending a lot more time with that friend. Um, just confirmation for someone out there. All right, tell me more about July for Capricorn. Tell me more about July for Capricorn spirit. Ooh. Okay, practice, 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 yeah. So when we come into these new ways of being, um, a new lifestyle, a new idea, like it definitely needs to be 
implemented. It's not just that, oh, one day I'm going to stop doing this and never do it again. No, it, it takes practice. It takes awareness. And it may be something that you may have to remind yourself when you pick up on this person's energy or when they try to send you something shady or when they try to like, you know, pick at you in some ways by spreading rumors, like remind yourself to keep moving forward and to not look back. You have to ingrain a new way of being in order to fully walk away from this. And it says, with daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So even on a side note, without having to do with this toxic energy, yes, um, you guys may be kind of practicing a new hobby, a new skill that you've picked up on that you've been wanting to kind of, it's really sparked your interest and you're really interested in kind of practicing and seeing where it can go. Spirit's giving you a thumbs up in it. I think you have a natural talent in it and you should definitely keep going with that. So there's that. And then we have daughter. Interesting. And I'm seeing sweet peas. Sweet peas may mean something to you, but it says the answer to your question involves your daughter. Okay, so this is different, obviously, for all of you. For some of you, maybe it's like mother-daughter issues. Maybe it's I'm feeling mother-in-law, daughter-in-law type of energy. And even if you don't identify, you know, with feminine, female, um, genders it could just be like what you're witnessing right through a loved one that could have very strong feminine energy that um you're just like witnessing all this too but others of you um you know maybe kind of hanging out with someone that you could kind of feel like is a best friend whether this is like a sister or a daughter type of energy especially if there's a big age difference between the two of you like maybe it will kind of help you guys move away from this by kind of hanging out with this younger energy, vibrant energy, playful energy. Like they're kind of like kids at heart. And I feel by meeting this person, it's kind of helping you move away from the negativity as well. Um, I really, I, I, yeah, I mean, for some of you, it could definitely involve your daughter in this or your mom. And I know that's very painful. But I think, you know, we can choose. We don't have to sever the ties forever, but we can definitely choose, like, even if we have those bonds, what we need in order to feel fulfilled when someone's not giving that same loyalty. And they may use that as an excuse if you guys do have that type of relationship, right? Like, um, oh, well, you're my daughter. Or, oh, you're my mom. You should do this and that or dad or whatever, right? And it's kind of like a manipulative thing. And I think maybe some of you guys are recognizing that. All right. Let's go ahead and pull one more card for Capricorn. And see if there's anything else that you need to hear. This is going to be Divine Feminine Oracle because I do. We're in cancer season right now and I feel cancer season is such a beautiful time to embrace our divine energy, to connect to divine energy, divine feminine energy. So let's see what divine feminine wants to come through for you, what message they have. And I'm going to read the excerpt from the book because it gives us a little bit of background. But it says, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection. Yeah, some of you guys may have Lady Guadalupe candles, um, but it says, I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. This is very powerful for those who are going through a mother wound. Um, I pray to Mother Mary myself when I'm faced with difficult mother issues, and maybe I wonder if some of you guys will kind of find that same type of comfort in praying to Lady Guadalupe, Lady Mary, um, it does kind of help knowing that there's a, if you don't have the best relationship with your mother, that there's an energy entity out there that will watch over you as a mother should. Um, but again, that's not for everyone. But for those of you that really hit with that vibe and that story, I would highly suggest that. But let's go ahead and see what Our Lady of Guadalupe wants to say to you guys in regards to July. So it says... What is outside of us is also within us. Even if we never experience the mother's love, the true love of that loving protection exists within us. So we can give it to ourselves. 
When St. Juan Domingo was concerned, the archbishop would not believe him and was racing to meet Our Lady of Guadalupe. She appeared suddenly and said the most beloved phrase in the apparition story, a phrase that is inscribed on the entrance to her basilica. No estoy yo aquí, que soy tu madre. Am I not here, I who am your mother? The energy of a mother's love can travel to meet you anywhere, whether within the world or within your own heart. The message is that she is here. You are mothered. But the message is also to ask for what you need. Saint Juan Diego asked Our Lady of Guadalupe for a sign that proved her identity and existence. She gave him her image emblazoned inside his cloak, one that has been venerated and considered holy ever since because he asked for her assistance. We are ennobled with free will. The divine needs our request for assistance in order to enter our lives. All we need to do is to assume the simplicity, the heart, and the humility of a child and ask for a sign that she is here. We all will be met in more love, with more love than we could ever imagine. And love is always the greatest and most powerful energy of protection. So, you know, even for some, as I was reading that, I wonder if even someone's dealing with the loss of a mother, um, a mother who may have gone to the other side. She is very much with you still. She sends you protection. She sends you love. She comes in your dreams, I'm even hearing as well. And um, that's just something spirit wants to make clear. Her energy, even entering into this, wants you to know. But I even feel for others of you where you feel like you're not having that high vibrational love. Um, you're not caring. You're not cared for as much as you try to care for others. Like, there's just different ways people receive love. And some of those who especially didn't receive that type of high vibrating love will not understand what to do with it, how to take it in, how to use it, how to accept it. So Capricorn, I feel like this doesn't mean that you should shut down your beautiful heart. It is a gift. It is something people want and yearn for, but you could be selective in who you give that towards and the full purpose that you want to give it to. I feel as if this is Spirit's way of saying, like, all you can do is just try to revere and live within a state of love. And as you kind of anchor that, you know, Spirit will do its end on keeping you safe and protected and where those energies won't have so much influence over you in your life anymore. And definitely, um, if you have something you want or that you've been praying for, or haven't really vocalized it to spirit, spirit's asking you to do that so your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors can help you in this situation, okay? So thank you so, so much, Capricorn, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what you need to hear right now in this moment in regards to July. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.